Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, uh, we made a video before this one, remembering what's happening to our brothers and sisters in Africa, where they are killed by the hands of terrorists, and nobody really cares for them. So we will remind people that we have a duty. If the media go mute on what's happening to those poor Christians, we should not go mute, and we should support them. We should call our congressmen, senators, it doesn't matter what country you are in. If you can do something, please do it. Now, today's topic is about Allah. Before we start, I want to remind people who speak Spanish that our book in Spanish is already out in Amazon. You can search for the name as you see in the screen and you will find the name of the book there. And the price is going to increase. We will have it like this for maybe a week or two. And then the price will go to normal, the same as it is in English. So if you care to have your copy, please feel free and get your order. And by buying the books, you support us in the same time. Now, the topic today is about Allah name. But actually, it's not just about a name. Many people do not know that Muslims do not know even they are worshipping what. All what they know that their God, his name is Allah. But the fact, even the name is wrong. There's nothing is called Allah. And we explained that many times. Today we are going to give opportunity for the Muslim, the Muhammadan, to, we have a challenge, a friendly challenge. Who is a Muslim can tell us what Allah mean? Who is a Muslim even can tell us who is Allah? I mean, if you, if you ask, if you go right now to Google, let me type this. Who is Allah? You will find the most hilarious answers have nothing to do with the question. As an example, Allah is God. I, come on, we know. I, I'm asking you, who is your God, Allah? <laughs> you tell me Allah is God. Nice to meet you, buddy. It's like saying to you, uh, uh, what is car? You say it's a car. So, who is the Muslim who can give us an answer? What Allah mean and who is Allah? Nobody. If you remember, I have a debate, still it's in my, in my page in, in YouTube, uh, with Dr. Rohi, who have a PhD from al Azhar University. When we asked him who is Allah, he said, as we know, all what we know, that Allah is an old Arabic name for God. But what it's mean? And who is the first one who said it? We do not know. This is what he said, you can watch the video. This is a guy who is very well educated and he have a PhD in his time, not like a kid who is, a, you know, his name is Abdul and he would try to debate us. So the Muslims, they brag so much about having a God, his name is Allah and he is one God, but yet nobody knows who is this God. Uh, here, this is an article written by someone who called himself Dr. Jamal Badawi, but Jamal Badawi, he have no idea what Islam is about. You know, when this guy, he made an article, I die laughing. Who is Allah? Let us ask Jamal Badawi who is Allah. And try not to laugh. Allah mean one God. Who, where do you get this from? Allah mean one God? So can we replace the word Allah in the Quran and we say one God? <laughs> I mean, look, he is trying to say to you who is Allah. What he said to you, Allah means one God. So Muslim, when they say oh, Allah is our God, they say one God. Do you see how much confusion they have? They do not know what they worship. This is not an answer. This is a stupid answer. Allah mean one God? Where do you get this from? But because they do not know what the word mean, this is not even an Arabic word. You read the whole article, you get nothing except you're getting more confused. Allah present the purity of Islamic monotheism. You see, they brag about monotheism, 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 but yet they cannot tell us who is Allah. Okay, that this Allah is the monotheism. There's only one Allah. Who is Allah? They do not know.
What a funny article. You read the article, you get no answer. Because simply, they do not know. You go to YouTube, and you try to find answers from the, from the, from the long beard guys. Uh, the ones who go on TV. Does Allah have hands? Yes, Allah has hands. Does Allah have a shin? Yes, Allah have a shin. Does Allah have a face? Yes, Allah have a face. Does Allah have fingers? Yes, He have fingers. Does Allah have a foot? Yes, Allah have a foot. But who is Allah? We do not know. <laughs> I mean, this religion is so deep to the point they were able to find out that Allah have a foot. But yet they do not know who is their God. And yet they do not know even how his foot look like. And they say to you, don't compare. We cannot compare between Allah and something else. But actually, Allah himself, he compare himself to something else. The second Allah, he says, I have a foot. He just compare himself to a foot. This is what foot mean. You see, uh, why I don't call my hand a foot? Because my hand have different job from my foot. So the second you say the word foot, it means something you stand on, you walk with. So Allah has a foot, it means He walk with it. That's it. It's a part. Allah have two eyes. And they are in the front of His face. That means He have a back. If there is any Muslim, he can call right now in Skype. You can leave a message. Because there is many, they are kids, they are just uh, calling to annoy us. Leave a message, if we find that your message have an answer, uh, which can be considered from somebody who knew what he's talking about, we are going to play your voice message. And then, if after I answer you, you can call again and leave a message as an answer. So look at this. Allah have a hand, Allah have a foot, Allah have a leg, Allah have a shin, Allah have two hands on the right side. And the Muslims, and even Zak Zak and Naik, he says Zak and Naik, a brother sister, Allah is the physical being. Allah is what? Allah is the physical being. And they said, yes, true. But Allah is the physical mean that that might mean that he look like me and you. Allah have a hand, yes. Allah have fingers, yes. Allah have a faith. But how the faith of Allah look like? We do not know. What is that? What does that mean? Allah is a physical being. So, you say to us, why well, you worship a man? I mean, they chase you as a Christian. They keep saying to you, you worship a man, you worship a man, you worship a man. And then we find that Allah is not a spirit. He has no spirit and he's a physical being. I, I am not playing Zach and Naik. Zach and Naik, he's copying me. He, he, he talk like me. This is the way I talk usually. I go to the store. I say, do you have tomato? If you don't have tomato, please give me another recipe. Because I, my wife, she told me to buy tomato or potato. I mean, Zach and Naik, he squeezed himself so hard to come with answers. They are the most funny, stupid. And the Muslims like, wow, brother, wow, this is our genius. Look at him. Look at this guy. If you look at the videos of Zach and Naik, he have like a 2,000, 3,000 people in front of him. Their mouth is open and like they are astonished. Like, why this guy is so smart? I wish I can play their videos because that will be the best comedy. But you know, they will flag me for copyright. Now, if there is any Muslim he knew who is Allah, you can post in the chat the answer if you want. Who is a Muslim who knew who is Allah? If you are a Muslim who is a sheikh or shaky or whatever, yeah, uh, text me in Skype and I will call you myself. Just uh, give me your Facebook and text me in Facebook just to ver verify that you are really a sheikh and then we will be happy to have you live with us right now. If you are a sheikh, shaky sheikh, post in your Facebook page, I challenge Christian Prince, post it right now, give us the link, we open it, that means that you are the one who owned the page and we verify that you are a sheikh and I will give you a call immediately.
And I don't understand really why Zach and Nike is banned from the UK. I thought it's allowed for a stand-alone comedy to practice. Zach and Nike. Is Islam is a stand-alone comedy. They are Zach and Nike. Why there is no woman? She is a prophet in Islam. A sister, she asked. He said to them, But the sister, the sister, they ask a question. Why in Islam there is no woman? She is a prophet. First of all, sister, I agree with you. In Islam, there is no woman to be the prophet. And there is a logical reason for that. If a woman to become a prophet, they have to lead the congregation. And if they lead the congregation, they have to do to do and would do. And that means they have to bend over. And that will disturb the congregation. Thank you very much. Now, translation to English. I confirm the sister question saying that in Islam, there is no woman. She is a prophet. And the reason for that, there is a logical reason. Because if she did the congregation, she have to bend over, and if she bend over, everybody will focus on her ass. And the Muslim like, wow, wow, man, we have the smartest genius. I mean, this guy, if he debate a Christian prince, he can destroy him in two seconds. So the reason a woman she can't be a prophet because she have a nice ass. May Allah ask you. The second the Abdul, they see an ass, they forget about Allah. They start worshipping the ass in the front of them. This is what he's saying to us. And none of those idiots, they are listening to this guy, he asks himself, is this guy, is this guy defending Islam or is insulting Islam? We are waiting for any Muslim to say to us, who is Allah? A brother, actually, we are brothers, brother. If you look, you know, if, if some people, they want to know how I look like. Actually, Zachary Naik is more handsome than me. The only difference between me and him is his beard is more thick. I mean, this guy is struggling to grow a beard. He is struggling badly. I'm sick of it. I shave it today in the, I shave at night. In the morning, I have a bushes. This is the only difference between us. <clears throat> Otherwise, both of us were very handsome, but he is more handsome than me. Yeah, especially with his brain. You know, the Muslims, uh, uh, and then you will you will find there are some Muslims, they are trying to copy Zakir Naik. So they are trying to memorize verses and etc. And this is supposed to how they can embrace you. Like, okay, you see, I memorize. But the second you ask him what the chapter is about, he do not know. Yeah, actually, the prophet, he spoke about people in my case. He said, uh, I don't know if you know, you remember when Muhammad, he says that in the heaven of Allah, if a Muhammad, then he wished to have a baby. He will have the baby. He will, he will carry the baby and the baby will be born in less than an hour and he have growing teeth. <clears throat> Do you see it? So I, according to uh, the CNN news, because they spoke about my birth, because it was very unique, I was born with a beard, a mustache, and I have long teeth. And even I did bite the hand of the nurse. Like she put her hand to grab me, I, I, I did bite her. This is a true story, by the way. As long the prophet, he said that, this is true. I mean, have you ever heard of a man delivering a child? From where he will deliver the child? And how you will... Uh, and the child will have his teeth growing? Actually, the Muslims, by the way, <clears throat> you know that Muhammad was born four years after his father. And based on that, because of that, the Muslims believe that the Muslim women... Muslim women, I'm talking about women, uh, Muslim women, she can be uh, pregnant for up to 10 years. Some scholars need, they say no, seven. And I can show the reference right now. If there's any Muslim want to challenge me, if there's any Muslim want to challenge me about that,
that you Muslim believe that a woman she can deliver a child ten years after after his his her husband die? Ten years. Why? She have a house, uh, a, a, a warehouse baby center. Imagine you divorce your wife ten years ago, and then she call you, and you are Zach and I. Hello, honey. Come to the hospital, pay for the bill. What are you talking about? I did divorce you. I am sick of you. Stop harassing me. You are doing exactly as the Christian did to me. I do not know you. I divorced you a long time ago. And she said to him, This is your son. Come and pay the bill. Do you have any proof that this is my son? Yes, he have his be your beard and he look like you. Which means very handsome. Am I lying, Muslims? That a woman she can deliver a child ten years after her husband passed away. Actually, there's a woman in, uh, I think, in Somalia or Sudan. I forgot where. Uh, they took her to Sharia court because she delivered a baby two years after her husband passed away. She's a widow, so who's the who's the man? Obviously, she is, you know, doing some business. Did I say business? When I was in Asia, once I was sitting in a coffee shop. It reminded me about this. And then there is a girl, she is next table. She said, hi, sir. I said, hi. I am sitting alone, you know. I said, uh, is it okay if I sit here? I said, okay, sit, no problem. So, you know, uh, she said, you are a tourist. I said, no, I'm not really a tourist. I have some work. And then I said, what about you? She said, I do a uh, business. I said, what kind of business? She said, the monkey business. And then I said, so you work in the zoo? She started laughing. I never heard of this before. I mean, monkey business. What is monkey business? That the first thing come to my mind, she walked in the zoo. So I said, so you work in the zoo? She started laughing, and the, the guy next to us at the table, and the girls, you know, coffee shop is very close. So people start laughing, and I'm looking like, why they are laughing? So what do you, like, <laughs> she says, come on, monkey business. I said, so, like you take care of this, uh, monkeys? <laughs> This is what happened to you when you are naive, my brother. Yeah, <clears throat> monkey business. Now, going back to the topic. Muslims, a Muslim woman, she was accused that she did the monkey business. They took her to court, she delivered a child, and they questioned her who is the father of the child. She have a lawyer who understand Islam very well. He presented evidence from the Sunnah that a Muslim woman, she can be deliver a baby, even if her husband died up to 10 years in the past, still can be his baby. And based on those evidence, the Sharia law court, court they have no choice but to release her. You believe it? 10 years, up to 10 years. So you leave your wife, and then after three years, she, she deliver a child. She can claim that this is yours. And if there is any Muslim here, he have the courage to say you are lying, just to challenge me. Right now. Right? No, not tomorrow. So, we don't want to change the topic, but, you know, I mean, if, uh, if they want to challenge... Actually, there's tons of videos actually by by Muslim scholars saying, uh, speaking about a woman, she uh, you know a story in the time of the Prophet, a woman she gave birth after being pregnant for four years. And Muhammad he come with that you know because simply he himself he was born four years after his father's death. Any Muslim? <clears throat> but by the way, Aisha, 
Aisha, uh, she have her own uh, story. Uh, let me see if I can find you the story in English. I don't think I can find it in English, but we will try. Give it a try. You never know. Mm. No, it's not here. According to Aisha, she mentioned a story of a woman. Her name is Ummu, uh, 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 the wife of Muhammad ibn Ajlan. And she said that she deliver uh, a child. She get a bread net and she stay pregnant for four years each time she is like each time she she would deliver she would be pregnant for so in 12 years she have a three children and this is why they call her the elephant this is the reference reported by Adarakani and al warid ibn muslim call it from uh, malik ibn anas uh, 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 reported by Aisha that she said the women she don't go exceed the, 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 the time of being pregnant for two, uh, more than two years and then so he said to her praise be to Allah who said that and then she said uh, etc so this is our neighbor the wife of etc she delivered a child every four years and she is pregnant etc uh, blah, blah 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 okay so and this is why they call her the elephant carrier and here they give you another story about a guy who gave a child uh, his wife she gave a child uh, birth to him after four years of being waiting for the baby to come and it says actually uh, and he was born and his teeth are growing already I mean, tons of reference, all those reference, all this, the same story. Yet we go back to our topic. In the name of Allah, who is the Muslim when I tell us what the name of Allah mean? You see that when the Muslim, they say to you that the word Allah, actually somebody said to me in uh, Wakabidia, they say a word Allah is coming from the word Ilah. That is a stupid, you know, Wikipedia is Wikipedia. Anyone can post on Wikipedia anything. I, I can go log in now and I can change the article. Wikipedia is not a source of information. Which means you cannot trust Wikipedia. Anyone can add it. You know, there's people, they have articles about me in Wikipedia. And they are attacking me there too. Anyone can log in and can change it. Anyone? CP will lose. I am losing, my friend. Let me tell you what I lost today. Today I went, uh, you know, I look uh, in the sink, I was washing my hands, and guess what? One of my mustache hair dropped down, which is very weird. So I don't know what are you talking about. Why you don't debate me and make me lose? Hmm? Who is the Muslim when I give me an answer? Who is Allah? What the name of Allah mean? When you say in the name of Allah, you cannot say to me Allah mean one God. It's You just say it's a name. You just said it is a name. What the name mean? Any Muhammad have an answer? Any Muhammad and no an answer in the name of Allah. And by the way, how Allah is talking, he's saying in the name of Allah. I mean, have have you ever heard of somebody? He is the king, he's saying in the name of the king. Imagine Trump, he go in TV and he say in the name of a Trump.
in the name of who? In the name of Trump. Well, nice to meet you. How that can be? Hmm? If there's any Muslim have an answer for what? Uh, I mean, what, how that can be? In the name of Trump. He is Allah, yet he say in the name of Allah. Obviously, there is somebody making a book claiming that he speak in the name of Allah and it's, it's making it as if Allah talking, but he, he got himself busted. He's a fool. And look here, Trump he has given you a finger. I mean, he wanna, he's looking for a taxi, I think. I hope somebody will stop. Any Muslim can tell us why Allah is saying the name of Allah? So let us make it clear. Those Muslims, they worship a God who do not know who, the, who he is, what his name means, where the name is coming from. They don't even know who is he. Their prophet himself, he never spoke to him, he never heard his breathing, he never has heard his fart. So who is Allah? Anyone? Yeah. Uh, brothers, are you going to answer us? Otherwise, Trump, he will have his finger like this all the time, waiting for an answer. You see, he's asking us, oh, stop, who have an answer, who have an answer? Look at them. Nobody have an answer. Big mouth insulting the Christians, asking us to convert to Islam, but yet they do not know what their God name mean. Isn't it hilarious? They do not know what their God name mean. It's a stolen name. The same as we ask them, what Israel mean? The Quran says Israel. Who, what Israel mean? They do not know. What Isa mean? They do not know. What Jibreel mean? They do not know. What Mikael mean? They do not know. What Abraham mean? They do not know. What Ishmael mean? They do not know. What Maryam mean? They do not know. They do not know. For all of Islam is a theft. Is that right? This is what happened when you are a thief. If you are a thief and you make a book and people ask you about your book, you do not know what's written there because it's not your book. Hmm? The only answer they have for us and for themselves, Allah knows best. Yeah, Allah knows best. He, Allah, He knows that the sun set in the murky water Allah he knows that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone mm -hmm. do we have any Abdul yeah uh, they say to you Allah is the uh, Allah the creator well, uh, even Allah himself he says he is the best of the creator which one and how you say to me, you should not compare God to someone else, yet you say, Allah, he compared himself to creators. How you say to me that Allah is the only creator and Allah, he says he is the best of the creators. Somebody is drunk, somebody taking too much hashish. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> any Muhammadan? And then, you know, they, they give you speech about Islam is against uh, 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 idols, etc. And then bingo, we find them kissing black stones. Going around the stone, praying in front of a stone, kissing a stone, touching a stone, and believing that a stone will forgive.
forgive their sin. And yet they say to us, we are not pagans. You are right, I believe you. True story. True story, brother. We are not pagan, but yet we believe if we touch stones, those stones will erase our sin. Have you ever heard of a stones forgiving sin, unless you are a pagan? Once I was chatting with a website, I think it's called Convert to Islam, something like this. And I asked the guy, he said, brother, I have a question, brother. So he said, sure, sure, brother. What is the question, brother? I said, uh, why the prophet kissed the black stone? I waited like for five minutes and then he gave me the answer. I think he was scratching his head or squeezing it. He said, because it's holy. And then I asked him, brother, so why it's holy? I waited under five, seven minutes and then he gave me the, the golden answer because the prophet kissed it. I mean, have you ever heard of a madness like this? I asked him why the prophet, he kissed the black stone. He says, because it's holy. I said, why he, Why it is holy? He says, because the prophet kissed it. I mean, what kind of hashish you take? What kind of coca oh, cocaine? Heroin? It must be even messed up. Uh, it's, it must be made in China. Oh. Who is the Muslim when explain to me why if we touch the stones it's going to erase our sin? Can somebody speak to Allah and make him change it? Would be nice if we touch something nicer. Like what if Allah he says if you touch your wife's lips Allah forgive your sin. Man we will be touching them all day long. And I will get I will get married right away. Hey wife, I just commit sin. I cheated on you. I want to touch your sin. I mean, I want to touch your lips. So now I go and do all kinds of crazy stuff, and then I go to the Kaaba, I touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner, and then my sin is erased. Not only forgiven, no, 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 it's not forgiven, it's erased. It's the same as the server of uh, what her name? The crazy women from America, brother. Uh, Clinton, hilarious Clinton. Hilarious Clinton, they asked her about how she wiped out her server. She said, like with the cloth, like with the cloth. Here we go. Allah, brother, he have for you a cloth. You touch the stones, your sin is erased. Hello? Where is the Abdul? Look, there is no Abdul. <clears throat> Let me, uh, guys, who wanna who wanna be who wanna be rich in the? Uh, uh, see, Allah He open an account for every Abdul, but the Abdul do not know how to make their bank account full. Let me teach you something. How to get a full bank account? With the bank of Allah. Look at this. Muhammad he says, Is one amongst you like he want to get a thousand deeds a day? Thousands deeds from Allah, like reward? They said, The Prophet, how one of us can get that? Like, how? And Muhammad, like, look at this. He said, Say, say what? Say what? Say. <laughs> Praise be, uh, uh, say praise be to Allah one thousand one hundred time, and Allah will give you one thousand reward credit, brother. And then you said, So if I say one thousand time praise be to Allah, I get what? I get ten thousand. Uh, I, I get what? A million? One million? One hundred thousand? I mean, isn't it, this is a pure deception? By saying praise be to Allah 100 times, I get 1,000 credit in my bank there. What about he put them in my bank down here? Mm -hmm.
any Abdul? So look, they do not know who is Allah. They praise Allah. They do not know, or let us say, they do not recognize themselves as pagan, yet they kiss stones and they believe stones can erase their sin. They claim they are against adultery, but yet they allowed muta marriage. One night stand, orfi marriage, the a friend, you know, which means married to a friend, which means you don't marry her really, you sleep with her once a week. Travel marriage. Have you ever heard of a travel marriage? It's like a laptop. Laptop, you carry it with you. A Muslim, he will not carry his laptop. He will he will get a laptop temporarily when he go to the new hotel. They come with, you know, like endless number of marriages. They call it marriages, but in fact, it's nothing but adultery. But you say, brother, we are against adultery, brother. We are absolutely, brother, against adultery. It's haram. It's haram, brother. It's haram. Hmm? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim would like, would like to uh, challenge me? You know, I'm thinking, like in this coming summer, I'm going to do all kind of grab you know, crazy stuff, like you know, start dating like every day and you women uh, arriving a bank, um, you know. Uh, snatching even food from the from the mouth of the poor brother do all the decent uh, islamic stuff and uh, kidnapping women from their houses with their husband like isis mashallah alhamdulillah and then brother uh, i forgot those are not sin in islam but let us say something else something is sin ah, i will eat pork you see i am i'm still thinking as a christian I, stop doing that think as a muslim big sin what is big sin is not kidnapping christian women no it is is eating pork brother so i will make a big sin tomorrow i will eat pork and then i go and i touch the black stone and my hand is full of ham and then abdul come after me and he kiss it and he lick it and he says wow why is it, why it tastes so good today and i will say to him brother it is the ham brother this is because my hand was full of ham brother Touching a stone, erase our sin, and you keep saying to us, we are not pagans? Anyone? Since when we started, until now, we did not get one Muslim to say to us what Allah means. Look at this text. Look at this. Not a single Abdul. My stomach hurts when I eat ham because you are not eating halal ham. I used to have a Muslim who worked with me. For almost six months, we go every day to the same restaurant. Because I am the only Arab gay there, so he, you know, he's like stuck with me. We go to the restaurant, he don't speak good English. The waiter or waitress come, he says, I want halal pork. I laugh, I thought he's joking. So after six months, he asked me in Arabic, what are you eating? I said, uh, khanzir. He said, what? You eat khanzir? Which means pork. I said, what's wrong with you, idiot? He said, what? He said, you're eating khanzir for the last six months. He said, me? He said, yeah. He said, now you're eating khanzir too. Isn't you who just asked the waiter 20 minutes ago to get you halal pork? He said, yeah. He said, you know even what pork mean? Are you saying to me you're ordering halal pork for the six months? I thought you are laughing. So the stupid, he did not know that hala, uh, pork is khanzir. It's a pig meat. He thought it's like a, a meat, like halal pork. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he's joking. The waiter, he thought he's joking. I mean, like, we thought he's really joking. We never thought that this guy is an idiot. He did not uh, know what pork mean. So for six months, he go to the uh, restaurant every day, and always he say the same, to the point even that, that when he come to the restaurant, the waiter or the waitress, they don't say, they don't ask him. They said, you want halal pork, right? 
you know? We laugh, he laugh, and like, because now he became a famous in the restaurant, like, you know, everybody knows what he like. He like halal pork. <laughs> and he, he was upset for me, you eat halal, you eat, you eat khazir? I said, you eat khazir too. Me? When? I said, no, you're eating khazir. You idiot. And you should see how many times, I wish I have a camera at that time, how many times he says, man, it tastes so good. Mm. So who is a Muslim who eat halal pork? Who knows what Allah means? The only religion who forbid pork and order drinking camel urine is Islam. I mean, if pork is filthy, how in the world piss is not? It's a piss. I mean, do you know what piss mean? Oh yeah, he stopped eating right away, and he like he say he start acting like he want to throw up. But then at work, everybody start making fun of him because we were not alone at the table. Any Abdul? Was Khadija Muhammad cousin? No, Khadija, she is not from his family. She is from a better family than Muhammad. This is why when Muhammad wanted to, or let us say Khadija wanted to marry from Muhammad, they had to drunk the father of Khadija and they made him believe when we wake up in the morning that yesterday you married me to Muhammad. The father, he took his sword. He want to have, he want to launch a war against the family of Muhammad because he is not fit. His family are bad family. You see the Muslim, they say to you that Muhammad family, they are the most noble, blah, blah, blah. All this garbage, you know. The fact, if you go and read, you will see that the father of Khadija, he was so upset to marry his daughter. How you met? They said to me, I married to marry you to Muhammad, this Muhammad. So even the marriage of Muhammad was a fraud. And if there is a Muslim who will say to me, I'm lying, I can show you the reference right now. His real name is Qatham. And he is not the son of Abdullah. He is the son of Abdullah. They changed the name of Muhammad father from Abdullah to Abdullah, the slave of Allah. Because look what, what the Muslim they say to us. Muhammad is a son of Abdullah, but Abdullah don't believe in Allah. <laughs> How that can happen? I mean, you can, uh, the Arab, they change their names. They are allowed to change their names. I mean, there's no document, there's no government, it's a Bedouin tribe. So, how he is the, his name is the slave of Allah, yet he don't believe in Allah. And Muhammad, he confirmed that his father is in hellfire. A man, he asked Muhammad, where is my father, messenger of Allah? He replied, your father in hell. Then the guy, he walk and he is upset. So Muhammad, he turned his back to him. He says, hey, hey, by the way, not only your father in hell, my father too. <laughs> Do you see it? So how the guy, he is a slave of Allah, yet he is going to go to hell. Any Abdul? Anyone? <clears throat> Do we have any sheikh would like to take a challenge to call me live and debate me live? Sheikh only. If you are not a sheikh, sheikh you want, you can leave a message. Who is a sheikh? He is a qualified to stand for me. You challenge me? Allah is, is good. I mean, even you wrote the word Allah as God in small letter. That's mean you are saying that Allah is a fake God. Thank you.
Do we have any shake with long beard? I'm collecting them. Once I was driving, and by the way, this is a true story. I can show it to you from Sahil Bukhari. I was driving and the police gave me a ticket because my beard was going in the car in the highway next to me, in the line next to me, like three lines far away. This is how long my beard is. You know, they grow their beard and to convince us that they are people of knowledge and they are religious, brother. Look at this guy beard, brother. I mean, knowledge is dropping. Don't tell me you do not know what he's talking about. The knowledge is all over. Obviously. <clears throat> Anyone? Hello? This guy, he keeps saying, challenge me, I challenge you. Okay, and what we would do next? Challenge me for what? Uh, running a marathon? <laughs> I challenge you, I challenge you, I challenge you. You remind me, uh, once I, I used to give an email out for Muslims to contact me, and then a Muslim woman, she sent me an email, she said, so what if your voice is very sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. And I was saying to myself, oh, buddy, this is a, this is a really a clear message of hate. I hope it's not you. Are you that person? You hate me, you hate me, you hate me? Who is a Muslim is willing to, Allah, to say to, Allah, to us, who is Allah? Or want to describe for us the hands of Allah, or, or the foot of Allah, or the fingers of Allah, or the shin of Allah. Yeah, my Skype is open. Remember, you have to verify yourself before you can call me. You can leave a voice message. We don't want our kids to call. Anyone? Hey, no, no, my Skype is on. My Skype is on. Come to speaker corner. Yeah, I don't like to go to corners. I corner you here. Why I want to go to anywhere? I am the one who corner them. All your speaker corners. Even if we are in a round room. Allah has body parts. Hmm. We should have changed Mimi Hijab. We changed all of them. I have many videos, change all of them. All of them they are welcome to call me right now. Right now, not tomorrow. Uh, what the best argument to refute Islam? Uh, what is the best argument Islam have to use against you? Is the best argument to refute Islam? What is the best argument the Muslims have against you? Is the same. Use the same argument they use. You see, Muslims, when they make an argument, they shoot themselves. Give me one argument the Muslims they give it to you, the best of their argument, and you will see how they shoot themselves. Like what? 
They say to you the Bible is corrupt. This is what they say, right? This is their this is their best argument. This is the Bible of Allah. So thank you very much. You just proved to me Islam is false. Because if Allah is the one who have a Bible and He cannot protect His book, that's mean He is not qualified to be God. Right? The second Muslim he said to you that your, the Bible is corrupt, don't don't defend. Laugh at him. He says, Thank you very much. The Bible of Allah is corrupt, the brother. The second you say that to him, you start saying, oh, No, 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 I'm not talking about that, the brother. I'm not talking about that. No, you are talking about that. You are talking about that liar. Because when the second you say corrupt, you are talking about an original which corrupted. That is the book of Allah, supposedly. So what happened is the Christians usually, when a Muslim, he says something to them, what they start doing, they start defending. Don't defend, laugh at them. Say, yes, the, the Bible of Allah is corrupt. And you will see how it will be upside down. He will flip like a lizard and his legs is up. And say, like, leave me alone, leave Brittany alone. No, 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 don't ask them when. No, 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 don't ask them when. They are not talking about your Bible, my friend. They are talking about their own. Why do you want to defend? A Muslim is shooting himself in the foot. Why do you want to defend? You see, this is the problem. The Christians, they don't learn how to defend. When they speak to Muslims, is different from speaking to somebody who's an atheist. This guy, he believed that his God is the one who sent the gospel. So why do you want to defend? Laugh at him. So say to him, brother, you are saying to me, brother, that Allah, he sent the Injil, brother, but yet the Injil, brother, is corrupt, brother, brother, was the Injil of Allah corrupted by Allah will or against his will, brother? But what? Anyone remember what I said? A brother, was the Injil, the gospel, brother, corrupted by Allah will, brother, or against his will? If he say by Allah will, that means Allah is Satan. If he say against Allah will, it means Allah is not God because he cannot protect and he cannot make his will come true. Which one you choose? Hmm? Crazy stupid religion. Islam is the easiest. You see, honest, honest to God, if I leave my toes in a mosque, the whole mosque will leave Islam. If they are honest. My toes, not my nose. If I leave my nose there, they will play with it. Those people, they cannot believe to see a hole. They have a fatwa about having sex with watermelon. Even there is no hole in it. Have you ever heard of religion? It is halal to have sex with watermelon. That's why I cannot leave my, toe, my nose there. I have two holes. You cannot even leave a watermelon there. It is not safe, it is not secure. Am I lying, Muslims? Hmm. <clears throat> uh. Let us see. Marrying a watermelon. I mean, can you believe that I am searching for marrying a watermelon? 
<laughs> oh boy. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I'm searching for what? Marrying a watermelon. Okay. This is a Muslim website. This is a Muslim website. This is Shia website. They are giving you an example of the Sunni morality. So this is Sunni Sunni. I have nothing to do with it. I have what? I have nothing to do with it. And here they start counting for you what is allowed and what is halal for the Shia. Halal means kosher. Hmm? Halal means kosher. Second example of Sunni morality, Sunnah ulama, which means scholars, it, it, they, they allowed using dildo. So, I mean, they do it. It's halal. Come on, brother. Be open-minded. Uh, let us go down. Read with me carefully. Third example of Sunni morality. Sunni scholars have ruled that it is a principality, the principality of having sex with watermelon. Do you see it? And here the Shia who is debating the Muslim Sunni, he have some questions for them. But let us read first what the Muslims Sunni believe. If a man makes a hole in a watermelon or a piece of dough or whether uh, leather skin or a statues even statues you cannot leave a statues in the square in Europe no more you leave a statue in a square you know you come back you see Abdul doing something had sex with it and then it's the same as we have said before ab about the type of masturbation ie halal it's the same circumstances given before such as being in a journey in fact it's easier than masturbating with one hand. Okay. Comment by the Shia. Shia commenting in the Sunni. Now, the guy, he have some questions. The Shia, they practice Muta. The Sunni, they installed the Shia because they practice Muta. But the fact Muta is a Sunni and Shia, and it's a verse in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. Now, this Shia is asking a question. Will it seem that the Nasibi, they call the, the Muslim Sunni, they call them Nasibi, Logic having sex with many women as one can afford is uh, uh, ultra immoral. But having sex with many watermelon as someone can afford, it's not. <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> hey, brother, the Quran says that you can have sex with as many as you want as long as you can afford it. Chapter 4 in the Quran says that. One uh, two and and F two and three and four, as long as you can afford it. If you cannot afford it, then one. Now he continues saying. Based on this, let us ask some questions about ahkam, which means the, the the rules of having sex with watermelon. Are there any condition of age of the watermelon? <laughs> A brother, I'm going to establish watermelon dating website and all the customers are going to be Sunni. All the females are watermelon. And in the profile, the watermelon, she can place her picture. Continue. Remember, I'm reading the Muslims article, not mine. He is asking, for example, is it allowed to perform marriage with the intent or the intent to divorce and you will grow in watermelon? Or must be wait until the watermelon is nine years old? <laughs> must it be, which means the watermelon, must be a bias 
watermelon, which means a believer, good believe in the watermelon, or it's principle to contract a marriage with intent of divorce with watermelon, knowing to go around. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. I'm doing crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. So beautiful, so beautiful. This is religion. This is a religion. Scholars, they say, I'm imagining, guys, is if a Christian, if, if one of the apostles of Jesus said such a thing, the Muslims, they will be eating us alive. They will be making fun of us 20 days, 20, 24 hours a day. Then, me, a biased brother, share his watermelon with another biased brother? <laughs> good one, good one, good one. <laughs> or, with the second man, marriage with intent to divorce constitute an act of fornication unless the watermelon observe a proper adda, which adda, which like a, you have to wait for three months after you get divorced before you have sex again. I mean, look at those. Look at the topic, my friend. Forget about the watermelon. Forget about wa or marrying the watermelon. For an example of Sunni morality, Salafi women she can suckle a Salafi man with beard. Listen, we showed you that even Aisha she ordered her nieces and her sisters to suckle any man he want to come and enter upon her. And actually, this is the only thing I like about this now. I want to go and meet Aisha. You go in the secretary room of Aisha, there's a 20, 30 beautiful young girls. They will say to me, Habibi, you cannot meet Aisha. We first we have to suckle you. And then Christian Prince, he will look around, which one, which one, which one, which one? Which one? I'm getting dizzy. Which one? Which one? And then I say, can you please show me your breast so I can choose? I mean, we are very conservative to the point we don't allow you to shake hands with our women, but you can shake their boobs and you can suckle them. Mean. That's so good to be true. And I told you about the project I was thinking to do in Las Vegas, I was thinking to open drive through suckling business for Muslims only, halal. You drive your car, like the same as McDonald and those crazy stuff, you know. You drive your car, brother, you go in the raw, and then there is a hole, and let me draw it for you. I mean, most of you are not really, uh, I don't know how to describe for you. I mean, because you are not good in imagination, I, I have to describe things for you in a drawing. Sorry, I mean, okay, let us use this space here. We are in Las Vegas, brother. And this is the tower of, uh, uh, what they call it? Tower of what? The one in France? I will give you I will give you the name according to an Arab guy from the Middle East. So this is a name I just made. The Tower of Tefal. Tefal, you know, like the, not, not a sticky Tefal. This is the Tower of Tefal, brother. And now I will open a business, brother, here. So we open a business, we make a building here, brother. And then the road go through here. And then, brother, we open little tiny hole in the glass, brother, for boobs. And the nipples come in the middle, brother. And then the car is, brother. This is the car, brother. And the driver, he put his head here and he suckle halal. And by the way, we charge, uh, we use a credit card. And this is halal suckling. And if any of you want to steal my idea and open a business in Las Vegas, I will sue you. It's my, I, I, I am the one, I, I am the one who owned the idea, it's recorded.
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking to open uh, uh, Uber Cycling too. Like instead of driving you some, somewhere, the, the driver will be doing cycling. Oh boy. You see, because we cannot find a Muslim to tell us the name of Allah, look what we have changed the topic. Hmm? Oh boy. Having sex with an animal during Hajj will not avoid the Hajj, and this is true, I can show even the Arabic reference. If someone had sexual intercourse with an animal, that will not avoid his Hajj. I mean, look how conservative this religion is. If you drink wine, brother, your Hajj is rejected, brother. Haram, haram. And not only that, brother, if you have sex, brother, with your wife, it's haram. But if you have sex with a donkey, it's halal. It's halal. If you don't believe me, here we go. The guy is even giving you the, the name of the pages. Actually, I can show you in different, uh, many sources, not only those. He's just giving you some. Somebody says, one day CP, they will leave Islam because they realize Islam is fake. My friend, they are Muslim because they realize Islam is fake, not because they realize Islam is not fake. <laughs> Let me tell you about Islam, why a person, he will stay as a Muslim. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice if you are a person who don't want to feel guilt? To go and kill and yet you feel that you are not guilty? To go and rape and yet to feel not guilty? To go and do a child molestation and that you feel no guilty. Islam is bringing you a lot of comfort if you are a person who have such a belief. You see, Muhammad, he made, you know, like he said to you, like those ISIS when they when they chop heads, rape women, don't they don't feel guilty? No, why? What they, why they will? Quran says to them, it is not you who slaughtered them, it's Allah who slaughtered them. It's not you who shoot them, it's Allah who shot them. You believe it? It's not you who slew them, it is Allah. Islam gave comfort to criminals. You want to kill, yet you don't feel guilty? You can't do that and you're a Christian. Join Islam. It's not you who slaughtered them, it's Allah. It's not you who chopped their head, it's Allah. It's not you who killed them, it's Allah. Do you see it? Muhammad, he noticed that those people are disgusted of the behavior they are doing. So he wanted to give them the comfort. This is what Shaitan he do. This is what Satan he do. So what Satan he said, it's not you who killed them, it's me who killed them. Don't think guilty. Does Allah come inside his creation? Absolutely. But before we go to Allah going inside his creation, what about Allah? He himself, he create Allah. Let me give you an example. Should I give you an example? Do we have any Muslim in the chat? I'm really disappointed, not even a single Muslim. We have 1,000 people watching, yet not a single Muslim will tell us who's Allah. Okay. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. The funny, the Muslim, we showed him a, a, a book of Hadith. It's called Sahih, which means correct. And then they say to us, it's not correct. <laughs> I, like, I like it, I like it, I love it. Hmm. Allah created Allah. Read with me the story. 
The Muslims ask Muhammad, are we going to see Allah in the day of judgment? Which means this is a physical scene by our, our naked eyes. This is not metaphorical as some Muslims try to fool you sometimes. Muhammad said to them, are you going to squeeze yourself to see the sun, blah, 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 the moon, blah, 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 when there's no cloud? They say no. This is, this is how you see Allah, as you see in front of you. He describes seeing Allah as the same as you see the moon or the sun in a clear sky. Then he says, Allah will come to them in the shape. Allah will come to who? To the Muslims. In a shape other than they knew or they know. And he will say, I am your Lord. Well, I am in Skype, my friend. Do you want me to show you that my Skype is on? Huh? See, this is my Skype. Here we go. Do you see it? You see it? It's on. What I will do? Uh, maybe because I am in the disturbed mood. Hold on. And by the way, why you want to call me? You can call me only if you are a scholar or a Muslim sheikh. If you are just a kid, you just leave a voice message. Leave a voice message. If your question is valid, we can play your voice. If you are a sheikh, you are welcome to debate me. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. So what we learn from this, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the shape which they know. What does that mean? Anyone notice what does that mean? Anyone notice how dangerous this is? is? You just confirmed to me that Allah He live inside shapes He created and He changed His shape like a snake. So now we have shape number one and shape number two. Shape number two is rejected by the Muhammadan. To the point, the Muhammadan, they believe that Allah at this moment, he is shaitan. He is Satan to the point they say to him, we seek refuge by Allah from you. Imagine. The Muhammadan, they are saying to Allah, you are the devil. When you say we seek refuge by Allah from you, that's mean you are shaitan. Muhammad, he said to them, when you, when the shaitan, he whisper to you or speak to you, seek refuge by Allah. And obviously, here the Muslims consider Allah shaitan. Why? Just because he come to them in a shape other than the one which they know. But the question here, I don't care if Muslims they think Allah is shaitan now or not. He is for me. The question is, why Allah have a shape and how he changed his shape when Allah he changed his shape that's mean he is inside that shape and that's mean this shape is created by Allah so Allah is inside his own creation and he is changeable shape is a shape have dimension the second you have a shape it's mean you are inside the dimension as long as the shape is something created, it's mean you are inside of a creation which have dimension. Any Muslim? And now we have another problem. When Allah He come to them in a shape other than the one they knew, that means there's two shapes. And later Allah will come to them in the shape which they like. Read carefully with me. 
Then he will come to them and he says, I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge by Allah from you in this place and we will not follow you. Tell the Lord, come to us. And then the Lord will come. When the Lord come to us, we will recognize him. And then Allah will come to them in a shape they know. And they will say, he will say, I am your Lord. And then they will say, no doubt you are our Lord. Do you see it? So now what we have, we have two Allah. Allah with the shape which they don't like. Allah with the shape which they like. So what we learn from this, that Muslim don't worship God. Muslim, they worship a shape, a statues, an idol. Otherwise, how you reject God just because he come to you in a shape you don't like. This is the hadith number for the one is asking. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6573. Do you see it? And the admin is posting for you the link. You can open it. So now we have a God who have two shape. Shape is rejected and shape is accepted. And obviously they are different. To the point they look differently and the first one is rejected so now how many Allah we have they keep saying to us Allah is one Allah is one Allah is one and here we go Allah is getting them busted and he says no I am two I have a shape which you don't like I have a shape which you like any Muslim have an answer And you must have an answer. This is your official Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. You see it? This is not my website. So don't play and don't cry. I know you. What the word God in Arabic? Rab. Rab. Rabbi. This is not even an Arabic word. Uh, Arabic is not really a language by itself. Ar Arabic is a collection of languages. And the word Rab is coming from the Aramaic. El Ilah is not a word meaning just God. It means the God. There's many words anyway. Any Muslim someone explain to us how many Allah we have now? We have two Allah in two shape. Which one of them is the true Allah? You Muslims you reject Allah, the one who come to you with the shape which you don't like. What happened to this Allah? Do you Muslims kill him? What happened to the shape which Allah he have first and then the shape have Allah have second? He put them in the closet? Or Allah is a person who have a double, double shape? Rab, Rab. You never heard of people saying Rabbi, Rabbi? Rabbi. A Jewish... Uh, uh, a Jewish uh, 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 a scholar, they call him Rabbi, from the word Rabbi, Master, Lord. Any Abdul?
Look at them. Nobody have an answer. Their God, he is a... He, he play hide and seek and he is uh, changing his shape. So what we learn from this, that we see Allah physically, and what we learn from this, that Allah is a physical shape, and Allah, he changes shape. It's not what they say to us, that Allah never change. They lie to us when they say, Allah never change. Any Abdul? Anyone? Again, we remind people that if you uh, if you speak Spanish, we have our Spanish book is out. It's an Amazon. You can get your copy. If you are a person who speaks Spanish, did I tell you about what happened to me when I went to a Mexican restaurant once? Once I went to a Mexican restaurant, and uh, the lady behind the counter she don't speak English, so she had pictures behind her. So I pointed my finger at a dish and I said this one, and then she kept talking. And the smart me kept saying, "Okay." I thought she's adding like saying, "I want to add spice." I want to add me. I don't know. I thought it said like spice or, or the way it's cooked. I say, okay, okay, okay. And then I went and sat in the table. And then a guy, he come and he have a big, huge tray in the top of his head. He put it in my table and he start putting dishes for me. I said, this is not mine. I order one dish. He said, senor, no, senor, senor. <laughs> and later I, they explained to me that the woman she was, a guy who, guy who, who translate, he said the woman she was asking you if you like this dish and that dish and that dish and you you saying okay and this is why i learned never say okay to a language you don't understand never oh boy i have to pay for all the dishes he like a <laughs> okay now the muslims are the same as a christian prince in a mexican restaurant they don't speak English, arabic and whatever muhammad he say they say okay Whatever Muhammad he say in Arabic, they say okay. But what he say in Arabic, Allah knows best. Okay? Who is a Muslim want to say to us, okay? Why Allah have a shape? Okay. Why Allah has two shape? Okay. Brother, why you are saying to me, okay? I want to answer I just answer you okay okay why Allah have five fingers okay what what is the answer you just say okay you don't speak the language you don't understand the Quran and the, in the top of that, they ask him to memorize the Quran, brother. Amen. And then you ask him, brother, what this word mean? I can recite it to you from the beginning, brother. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. What this word mean? I do not know, brother. I can recite the word with you. What a funny religion. So what the point of this cult? Not a single Muslim can tell us what Allah means. Not a single Muslim can tell us why Allah have shapes. Not a single Muslim can tell us why Allah have foot, why you have fingers, why you have face, why you have eyes. And yet you say to us, you worship a man. Hmm? I am making fun of my own language. I make fun of myself. What's your business? Is that correct, guys? I am a person who is very much confident. I make self fun of my look. 
Is that true, people? I make fun of my look. I make fun of my English. I make fun of myself because I am very confident and that will not insult me. It is you who is not confident to the point you say to me, you are making fun of your in your own language. So what? I'm not making fun of the language. Is what you got from that? I'm making fun of you reciting a chapter in the Quran. You do not know even what, what, what the language is saying. So you are funny to the point you did not see the point and you don't understand the point. You are making fun of your own language. This is what you get from this. I mean, you are listening to me all this time and you come to the conclusion I'm making fun of my own language. Don't get married because your wife, she will commit suicide second day. And now I know why some women, they don't want to get married, man. I mean, you marry a man like that and you commit suicide. I guess your wife, she want to take you to the bedroom and then she go and she change and she wear a sexy clothes. And then because if you are so smart, you are, you ask her, ah, you did shopping today. Huh? She spent two hours to put makeup and put nice clothes in herself. And now because you are a genius. Oh, you get shopping today. Okay, I want to sleep now. I mean, that's so smart. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Who is Abdul? Would like to call us. Nobody? Uh, oh, am I out of luck today? Why is that because of Friday today? Ah, it's a Friday. <laughs> let me let me tell you uh, how Christian Prince because his English is so good. You know English, my good. You know you know English. I I teach actually in all universities in the world English. This is my favorite topic. It's a Friday. Okay, hold on. Well, what does that mean? Uh, this is mean this. Fry day. You want me to call you so you can fry me? Hello? I'm not going to call you. See? How I know that? It's a Friday. I even look at my fry, how, 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 how I type the word fry. I mean, have you ever heard of a fry like this? It, this is uh, Arabian meat. You want to fry me, right? This is why you are not calling? Okay, we can change it. We make it a Saturday. <laughs> Mayday, Mayday. Any Muslim have a conclusion? Any Muslim can tell us why Allah have hands? Why Allah have fingers? Why Allah? What Allah mean? Look at this guy. Allah has body. Allah have hands. Allah, this guy when he describe Allah foot, do you know what he says? And then Allah will show his beautiful, magnificent foot. I'm just quoting. You can play the video. His what? His beautiful, magnificent foot. It's not even, I mean, if you are talking about my foot, I will believe you. But the foot of Allah is magnificent foot. I remember the magnificent, magnificent seven. His magnificent foot. A sheikh teaching the Muslims, Allah will show his magnificent foot. Question is, I don't want to know his how look how magnificent it is. But can you describe for me how it looked like? He says you cannot ask. So how you say magnificent? And why Allah has a foot? He's going to play a football. Why Allah he has a foot? Why Allah has five fingers?
لا هاز فينجر او يو شود ليسن تو ذس جاي ذس جاي از تراين تو كوبي زايكر نايك برادر سيستر لا هاز ماوث هاد هيلز هاف فينجر هاف ا شين ايفن ا شيب بت هاو ذا شيب اوف الله دي نو وي دو نوت نو اي مين سبوز تو ناو هي انسر ذا كويشن الله هاز ها دين الاسلام ترو دين الاسلام ذس از ا تشانل name you can search for the video allah has hands has a mouth has heels have fingers have a shin even a shape hmm. us have debating who has the right hand or oh, let us see what this guy want to say asif there's a guy his name is asif was debating me two days ago This is a video posted two days ago. What is that? Let me see what is that. And time will come. What you do? <coughs> is the sound coming? Hello. Hello, CP. Hey, my friend. How are you? No, this is not. Hello. David. How are you? This how is you not are? a Muslim. I'm fine. Are we live? Yes. I know, okay, well, so we have to take it as a metaphor. However, the Muslims agree. Okay, it's not a Muslim. No, we want a Muslim. Don't. This guy is not a Muslim. Uh, I wish today I can play for you the Muslim videos. You would die laughing. I mean, it's the most comedy. Look at this guy. This guy is teaching the Muslim Abdul in Urdu. And supposedly he is all knowledgeable, brother. Hmm. Uh, my Skype is closed. My friend, my Skype is open. Trust me. My Skype is open. I swear. I da 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 potato. I swear. I mean, what's wrong with people? This is my Skype. You see my Skype? Here we go. I just drag it to you. Here we go. My Skype is open. My Skype is open. It's open. It's open. It's not closed. They keep saying to me, it's, it's closed. By the way, the only God who swear by the fig is Allah. And this is why I respect him very much. I mean, if Allah is not go green fruit, he will not swear by fruits. God, he swear by the fig. Hmm. And those Congress, two Congress women who became Congress women in USA, why they did not give them the fig to swear in it? That's what happens when you are hungry. Seriously. If you are angry and you, you know, you want to talk, then you start like swearing by food. Never go to court and, you know, swear. Do we have any Muslim? Look like today we are out of them. Sent you, you, you send me a voice message? I don't know why nothing, nothing appearing from my side. Trust me, nothing is appearing. Maybe something wrong with the Skype. Let me, let me uh, exit and come back again. Because nothing is appearing in my side. Do you think I have a genie? Do you, do you know that there's many websites that speak about having sex with genie? Um... See, I just I just open, I see no messages from anyone, not even a text message. And by the way, I changed my name and I make it not me. Anyone knows why I make it not me? Anyone knows why? Because the, I keep receiving messages that says, Are you Christian Prince? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> I mean, you open your Skype, you find like a thousand messages saying, are you Christian Prince? So I decide to say, not me. <laughs> not me, brother. It's not me, trust me. <laughs> oh boy, not me. <clears throat> not me. <clears throat> yeah, I know I receive a message. Yeah, see, it's working. So why they are saying, maybe I need to change the setting of my Skype, I'm not sure. Hold on. We go to preference. Calling. Okay, try now. I change the setting. <clears throat> If you are a Muslim, by the way, you can call. If you are not, don't call me. Don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Anyone? So after all this time, we could not find one person to tell us who is Allah. Nobody knows. They want us to convert to a religion. They do not know what Allah means. They believe it. They want us to believe in a God they themselves do not know who is He. All what we know about Him, He has five fingers, He has a shin, He has a magnificent foot which is obviously very important. I mean, imagine God, he don't have magnificent foot. That's horrible. Sing? Oh, you remind me the story of singing. Do you know, brother, that in the, when the Muslims, they go to heaven, every Friday, brother, they have a party? Every Friday, the Muslims, they will have a party. And there's a three singers that will sing in the party. Who remember? Let us see if we can find the reference. Uh, <clears throat> I will try to find it in English because in Arabic it's not a problem to find it as usual. But anyway, if you have, uh, if you remember, there's a video on YouTube. It's called The Description of Paradise in Heaven. Description. Description of Paradise by the Dean Show. Yeah, here we go. Actually, this is just only 10 minutes. Uh, if you can find this video, Description of Paradise, uh, you will see here the guy, he explained to you that every Friday, the Muslims, they will be singing, uh, sorry, Allah and Muhammad and uh, David. 
three of them, they will sing every Friday. You see it? Description of Paradise by Dr. Ibrahim Dermeli. You know, if you can search for these videos, it should be longer, it should be like an hour or something. This is one at 31 minutes. All right. So supposedly every Friday, uh, the first one will go in the stage is David. And then Allah, after he sing, he says, have you ever heard, asking the Muslims, have you ever heard something more beautiful than this before? All the Abdul, they will say, I swear by Allah, we never heard. And then Allah will ask Muhammad to come to the stage. And Muhammad will recite and will sing. And then he will ask the Muslims, Allah, have you ever heard something more beautiful than this? They will say, we swear by Allah, we never heard something like this before. And then Allah himself will recite the chapter of Ar-Rahman. And then Allah will say to them, have you ever heard something more beautiful than this before? They say, we swear by Allah, we never heard. <laughs> so Allah is the winner. Allah is the idol, American idol winner. And that will happen every Friday. And look how funny the story is. Anyone notice what, 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 what the mistake in the story? I just said, this will happen every Friday, right? Every Friday night. So if every Friday night the same story will happen, why he's asking them, have you ever heard this before? And they will say, no, we never, we never heard. Well, you just sing the same song yesterday, last week. You know what I mean? I mean, how stupid is this? How you say, have you ever heard something beautiful like this before? And they say, we swear by Allah, we never heard. But you did last Friday. <laughs> And then imagine how boring this, this movie. For eternity, every Friday, all the Muslims have to come to a big hole. In the stage, there's the three singers, Muhammad and David and Allah. And every time, Allah is number one, Muhammad is number two, David is number three. Every Friday. What do you mean there's no Friday in heaven? There is. It's a Friday. Frying potato. Who's David? Prophet David, supposedly. I wish I can play the video for you. You will die laughing. Literally. It's a comedy. And this guy, like, you know, he says, hey, Brother, when you go to paradise, brother, you do not need a map or GPS to find your house. And the guy, the host, he's excited. He says, really? How that can be? He said, brother, if you want to go to some place, you need like a GPS, you need a map. But brother, when you go to the heaven of Allah, an angel will come and will take you from your hand. <laughs> so when you hear it, you think like you will find it by yourself. Then he will say to you, an angel will come you and come and he will guide you to go to your house. <laughs> and then he says, brother, when you arrive to your house, let, let me let me describe your house for you. Your house have four doors. Uh, my house, what? Have four doors. And you enter from one door. I am so glad Allah will not split me pieces and I will enter from four doors. I mean, if my door, if my house have four doors, are you expecting me from entering from four doors? One door for the servants one door for you and one door for your wives and one door for the angels of Allah every Friday an angel will come and he will knock at your door you open the door he give you a card from Allah and Allah is written in the card my servant I miss you come and visit me I'm not joking go watch the video If you don't believe me, the video in front of you. Try to find the whole version of the video, not only this uh, 31 minute. Okay? This is the name of the video in front of you. Description of Paradise, Jannah, by Dr. Ibrahim Dermeli.
Is my voice good, guys? I'm so disappointed because Allah did not invite me to the parties to sing there. I sing better than him. I mean, come on. I can sing many songs, like Oh Mommy, Oh Mommy Blue. Oh Mommy, Oh Mommy, Mommy Blue, this religion of blue, blew my mind. So crazy, so crazy, oh you, so crazy you. Oh Mommy, Oh Mimi, Oh Muhammad you. You are a crazy you. I mean, that's what I can do. It's fantastic. Uh, sing in Arabic. Why you want me to sing in Arabic if you don't know Arabic? Are you going to do what the Abdul do? You say uh, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, but you don't know what does that mean? Why you want to sing in Arabic? Last time I sang in Arabic, I almost well got arrested. It was in the bathroom in the airplane. Don't do that. You guys, guys, you go in the airplane. You open your phone. And you start reading in Arabic. The guy next to you right away, he put his hand up. He says, there is an empty chair, so I can switch. I don't like this chair, it's like small for me. And then I got the whole trip alone. Nobody next to me. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Islamic religion is working perfectly. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I ask question? Can I answer? <coughs> Shalom, my name, okay. Oh. Hmm. All right. Any Muslim? Hey, somebody talking about this uh, girl Zahra, the one who called. You know Zahra. Uh, uh, the problem that Christians are really most of them they are naive people. A woman, she called us and she started crying to make you feel bad. This is the whole point of she is crying. Because she want to make the person she is talking to look ugly. And you fail into that trap. That means the Muslims, they got you. They attack us, they attack our churches, they kill us. And then they call and they cry they, to play victims. And then you fail into their trap. That's mean you are doomed. They got into your head. This is what they do, you know, in all the world. Look what they did to us in New Zealand. 300 Christian Nigerian, a whole village is slaughtered, nobody talk about them. So the one who cry on TV is the one who people listen to. And you exactly, you did the same. Foolishness. Just because she cry, you feel sorry for her. You feel sorry for yourself. They kill you and they go on your funeral and they put flowers on you. If they can fool you, they cannot fool me. Go and see what they are doing. Here we go. Erdogan, he announced he want to take our church, the biggest church in Turkey. And they, they cry. They cry. They, we are the victims, not them. Yet the naive Christians, you know, they, they think they are crying. I mean, they must be right. You cry, just cry. Go kill me and cry first.
our mothers are crying, our people are being slaughtered, our people are being tortured, our people are being jailed just for preaching the word of a gospel. Nobody cried for them. But a Christian guy from India, he feels sorry for Zahra. Cry. Go cry with her. Do we have any Abdul? The whole Middle East is not their land. Iraq is not an Islamic country. Syria is not an Islamic country. Israel is not an Islamic country. Even the one they call it Palestine is not, even Jordan is not an Islamic country. Egypt, Morocco, all of this is occupation. Erdogan is speaking about that Trump, he gave the Julian height to Israel and he is complaining when his country itself is not exist. His country is a stolen country. But they cry. And you Christian are naive people. You listen to the one who cry. Christian prince is not a crying. If a Christian prince go and have tears or he bring a woman to cry for you, you will feel for her. Foolishness. So do we have any Muslim want to tell us who is Allah? Any Muslim? Who is Allah? Anyone? Not a single Muslim after more than uh, uh, what time? Uh, one hour ago we started. No, actually two hours ago. Two hours ago, and not a single Muslim can tell us who is Allah. Well, in war, if somebody want to kill you, even if he is, uh, you know, like a I made a video a long time ago. I call it the uh, the beauty of Hamas and the ugliness of Israel. I don't know if any of you saw it. Saw it. Now my video, I actually, it, it was just like uh, I did not even prepare for. I mean, like just made a video, and suddenly my video became number one in YouTube. Like hundreds of thousands of people saw it, just because of the name. Because I said the ugliness of Israel and the beauty of Hamas. Let me see if I can find it. See how the word is is uh, you know like how the hate. Just I just because I call it such a way. And 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 uh, and then the YouTube they down and they they banned me. My 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 video like got like. Suddenly, 600,000, 700,000, a million, and then my account is gone. This is a, one, of the, one of the videos. You see, people are copying my videos. And there, this one have like 144,000. Uh, this guy, he's copying my video here. I can't tell. Uh, anyway, so I call it the beauty, uh, the ugliness of Hamas, or the beauty of Hamas and the ugliness of Israel. All right? Everybody is sharing it. The Muslims, they are because Muslims they don't uh, they, they don't watch. You know, the, the name. Look at the name. The beauty of Hamas and the darkness of Israel, brother. Share it. <laughs> but in there, you will see how Hamas, how the terrorists, they are using a child, a child, to do suicide bombing. So if you are a soldier, what do you do now? Either you say, "I'm not going to shoot a child." Or that this child who is covered by bombs is going to explode himself and kill as many as he could. What you do? And then if you shoot at him, they say, see, the Israeli soldiers are killing children. And as you see, I made a name which is not expected, right? But I was being sarcastic. 
the beauty of Hamas and the audience of Israel. And then YouTube, they ban my account. Because I'm saying the truth. How you say the truth? I played in the video how Hamas, they torture even their own people. They kill them. And I show how Israel treat really the Arab who they are. I am Arab. You see, I wish to go, I, I wish I want to go to Israel. But I'm afraid they would not let me go through because I'm an Arab. I don't blame them. They will be worried. But it's my wish, really, to go to Israel. If I can go this summer, I will go. But I don't know if they will let me even go through. How are you, Muawiyah? You did not change your name, Muawiyah. Muawiyah, I asked you yesterday, do you know what your name mean? Guys, the Muslim Sunni, they are so proud about a guy, his name is Muawiyah. Muawiyah is a person who killed and tortured the children of Muhammad, the grandsons. But the most important is, Muawiyah in Arabic mean a female dog. In English, they call, they call it bitch. Excuse my language. I mean, look at you. Your name is Muawiyah. And the funny, they say to you, you are a Jew. As if you being a Jew, that will make you guilty. <laughs> you wish to be a Jew. Look at you. Jewish are scientists. They are powerful. They are intelligent. And look at you. Until now, you cannot make a needle. They made a manufacturer for needles. When they try to make a hole in it, they break it. Erdogan is speaking, he's making an airplane, and nothing in the airplane is made in Turkey. You wish to be a Jew. They hate the Jews, you know, because you are jealous. Look at them. Look at Hamas, the land of Hamas, and look at the land of the Jews. And then you will know who is the Jews. Stupidity and hatred. But nothing new, you know, Muhammad, he blamed the Jews for everything. If you cannot have sex with your wife, Muslim, they blame the Jew. If your food damaged, not because there's bacteria in the air. No, because of the Jews. Here we go, read it. The prophet said, we are not of the children of Israel. The meat would not decay. So why our food is damaged? Because of the Jews. Do you see it? And Muhammad in the same time, he blamed Eve for every evil thing. The Jews and Eve. Two sources of evil in Islam. Do you see it? People, do you see it? Muhammad, he considered there is two sources of evil in the world. The Jews and women. Somebody's asking me where I'm from. I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan looking for a brand new wife. I like it brand new. Because we Muslim, brother, we like it brand new. Even the God of Islam, he promised Muslim men they will have virgins, and each time they have sex with her, Allah will put his finger there, you know where, and he will make her virgin again, which is a cheating. I mean, what's the point of making my wife virgin? I just escaped with her. Hello? Even Allah is a cheater. Why are you making her version again? I mean, what's the point? I just finished with her. And then my wife, she said to me, Honey, I am virgin. You are virgin? You remember? You remind me of a virginie. A virgin. My friend, my Skype is open. I don't know why people cannot call. Trust me, my Skype is open. And look what my Skype is saying to me. You will not believe it. It says, look, look, look. It says, welcome not. Have you ever heard of a Skype like this before? Welcome not? What is that? <laughs> welcome not? 
What does that mean? <laughs> Unbelievable. It must be Jibreel, brother. Welcome not. <clears throat> Yeah, something wrong. I mean, the, the, Martin, you notice only something wrong with the Skype. The whole world is wrong, my friend. Only Skype is wrong. Everything is wrong. Look at this. If there is no Jew, there is no meat will be decay. Now, why I am buying a refrigerator? Because we have a Jew. Why if we leave our dishes out of the refrigerator, they damage? Because there is a Jew. Eh, wisdom. This is, this is the hate teaching. Hate crime. They talk about hate crimes and they are the one who teach hate. I got second marriage proposal. Where? Where? Last time I asked a woman to marry me, she said, why? 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 There's no man left in this earth. And almost she called the cops for me. What are you talking about? Do we have any Abdul? Christianity is false? So why you're Allah? Okay, I will go with this guy Muawiyah. Muawiyah, Christianity is false. So why Allah saying the Christians will go to heaven? Are you there, Abdul? This is a chapter 2, verse number 62. Why he is saying the Christians and the Jews and the Sabian, they will go to heaven and they have no worry. What I'm lying, here we go, the verse in the front of you. Are you, are, you, are you scratching your ass, I mean your head now? Why are Allah saying we will go to heaven? Stupid. I, I, I will help you. I'm, I'm taking your side now. Allah is being stupid now. Obviously, it's too much hashish. Too much hashish. The only solution for this verse is hashish. But I will tell you why Muhammad said that. At that moment, Muhammad was trying to be hypocrite to the Christians. So he, he want to say to them, you are not going to go to hell. You know, I believe you are right. Just accept me as a prophet. Accept me. So he said to them, Christians, Jews, even Sabian, even Sabian who worship stars. Sabians who worship stars will go to heaven. Why? Good evening, Sashi. Hmm? Any Muslim? No, Sabi and they don't worship water. You are mistaken. Uh, water is symbolic, one of their rituals, but they don't worship water. That's false. Anyone? Take Shahada? Okay, I will take Shahada. No problem. I mean, have you ever heard of religion? The God of Islam, he convert to Islam? Have you ever heard of a, such, a, such a garbage? The God of Islam, he takes Shahada. Look at this. Shahid Allah, Shahid Allah, Allah ilaha illahu. 
وَالْمَلَائِكَةَ وَأُولُو الْعِلْمِ كَائِمًا بِالْكِسْتِ What is that, man? Allah taking shahada? What the heck? Yeah, I witness to myself too. I like to witness to myself. Are you there, Muawiyah? Can you tell me Allah is witnessing to who? Allah taking witness to Allah? Uh, Muhammad Bari, he is saying, a Christian prince, you are not a Christian. I mean, how silly is that? How you say to me, Christian prince, you are not a Christian? You just said, I'm a Christian. <laughs> and Christians are nice. So if the Christians are nice, they will, why they will go to hell, brother? Why you make fun of them? Why you want to kill them if they are nice? Why Islam says kill the Christians wherever you find them if they are nice? So when we are nice, you make fun of us. When we are not nice, you see you are the Christian. So what do you want us to be? You want us to be nice and Christians or not good to be Christian? We go to hell. Potato. If you are a nice Christian, they make fun of you. Christianity is false. Ah, 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 ah. Allah will burn you, brother. And then when you start showing them what nice mean, like to be like Christian prince, suddenly they want you to go back and be Christian. Please, Christian prince, be Christian again. Please, Christian prince. But I thought Christianity is bad. Christian prince is not right to be, is not right to be not nice a Christian. The, the true Christians are nice people. You are not being nice. But brother, you told me that Christian will go to hell. Why you want to be Christian now? Because you are kicking our ass, brother. Hmm. They make fun of you when you are nice. And the second you show them what you can do, they ask you to be Christian. Please be Christian. Please don't go. Don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. <clears throat> uh, I will show you something about the interests of Allah. And then you might understand the intelligence of the followers. I want you to remember this verse. If I want to show you, if I want to, if I ask you, uh, name for me something stupid in the Quran, extremely stupid. You need to quote this for me always. Chapter three, verse number sixty-five. Look at this. If this is God talking, if this is the one is talking, is God. So, who is the foolish then? Allah saying. O oh, people of the scriptures, which means Christians and Jews, why you argue about Abraham when the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him? Have you no sense to understand? I mean, look how stupid this verse is. Anyone notice why this is stupid? Extremely stupid? Who knows? Who notice why is this is stupid? Do notice. Because if the one who came after, he have no right to argue, Muhammad came at the end. <laughs> I mean, look at the stupid logic. If I practice the logic, Muhammad himself, he is trying to refute us with. Then if you, you, why you are arguing about Abraham when you came, the gospel and the Torah revealed after him? Have you no understanding? Are you stupid? Well, I can say that to Muhammad because he's the last. Aren't you Muslim? You say he's the last? Obviously, when Muhammad, he made this verse, he have too much hashish. A lot of hashish. So now I say to you, I'm using the Quran logic. Why you debate the Christians when you came after them?
Uh, be nice, top student. Please, no, don't uh, don't speak in such a way. Can you share some knowledge of Alawi? Well, you know, the, the Alawi is considered as a part of the Shia, and uh, Shia, all of them, they share one thing. They almost, actually, not almost, they worship the family of Ali. And Alawi specifically, they are a sect of Shia, which is, you know, you know, like let's say, the root of it is about Ali and his family. However, the Alawi, uh, there is many kind of them, but the most major known is the ones, uh, as an example, the the president of Syria. He is a Alawi. They don't pray. They don't go to the mosque. They drink vodka more than water. Their women, they don't put hijab. They don't fast Ramadan. And they don't give a damn about Islam. Those are the Alawi. So they are Muslims by name. And actually, they make fun of Islam left and right. There's many videos of Alawi in YouTube making fun of the Muslims when they pray. Let's see. This is supposedly a picture of Ali. All right. Anyway, uh, the Sunni, they hate them very much. And there's a lot of hate involved. But for me, the, the, the Sunni... Oh, somebody called. See, uh, Skype is working. Are you a Muslim, the one is calling? It doesn't sound like a Muslim. Why are you calling me? Why people they say to me uh, it's not working? Uh, I mean, there's tons of videos of uh, Alawi and Shia and Sunni and you know and uh, exposing each other. But at the end of the day, Alawi is one million times better than the Sunni because at least you can you, c you can live with them, and they will not force on you. They are believe. They don't care really for Islam. Islam is the last concern they have. Alifism, I don't know what even that is. I don't know what the name means. Yeah, Alawi, they are not really considered to be Muslims, but they are they used to be part of the Shia. But I tell you, they are they are million times better. They are a lot more civil. Uh, they are they don't care really for religion. Uh, if you live between them, you will not notice even that anything to do with Islam. You know, they have nothing to do with Islam. They are Muslims by name, and the Muslim Sunni they hate them to death. <clears throat> Let us see. All right. Yeah, my Skype is, I don't know, my Skype is working. Maybe it's accepting only people in my Skype, but I changed that. I don't know. I changed the uh, setting notification, messages, contact. <clears throat> calling see I, I I turn it off I mean here we go it says here uh, only allow Skype calls from contact I turn that off so it should be allowed for anyone to call and I allowed voice messages to people they can leave a voice message so I don't know why it's not working sounds strange I think there's a genie in the ball
So do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim have to say something to us? Who is Allah? Anyone? Any half Muslim? Who circumcised Muhammad? Muhammad never been circumcised. There is no reference anywhere. It says he was. Uh, this is why I don't, I don't, uh, you know, like I don't talk about Alawi, because Alawi, uh, I say to you, you know, they are not really, they are not really bad people, and they don't want, they don't have an agenda uh, to force any religion on anyone, and they don't care really. Actually, they don't, they don't prefer you to be a Muslim. They don't like those who uh, scream in the mosque and make loud uh, noise at the adhan and. You know, they don't like those people who grow beard and, you know, we, we believe they are liars. And so, Alawi, they are not really Muslim. They are Muslim by name. <clears throat> so, me, myself, I have no problem with them. Do Muhammad do drugs? The Quran is a drugs, don't you see? Promising people a long, uh, a lot of uh, vagina and sex. Muhammad, uh, you see, Muhammad, he understand the nature of those Bedouin Arab. They are lazy. They like women. Uh, they like uh, money, gold, silver. So he promised them exactly what they like. They like wine. They like to drink. River of honey. I mean, what kind of heaven the heaven will be if we have a river of honey? Because in order to have honey run, running as river, it have to be hot. You know, because how the how the honey will run like river unless it's like two hundred degree. So he promised them exactly what they like. A river of milk, a river of wine, a river of honey. And from all the fruits you want. I mean, he is just speaking to their Billy. He knew exactly. And not only that, he started promising important Gucci. You know, you see, every time have a Gucci. Like now Gucci is a brand, right? Muhammad, he promised them Gucci too. At the time of Muhammad, there was a famous fabric made by the Persian. It's called Istabrak. Istabrak, chapter 55, verse number 54. So Muhammad, he promised them Stabrak. You see here, they translate it as uh, silk brocade. But the fact is not, is it is made from silk, but it is a brand or a kind of silk made in Iran. Stabrak. So imagine you have, a, you have a God, he's saying to you, I will buy, I will get you Gucci. Have you ever heard of some, such a thing? Why even Allah is, is quoting the exact word which is a name made by the Iranian for a fabric. Allah will import from Iran is Tabrak. Simply, Muhammad is speaking to the Arab, poor Arab, who he tried to make them be seduced. You will wear clothes. And not only that, he says you will have a couches. You know, the Arab, they never have couches. You know, if you know Arab houses, you know, uh, they sit in the floor. Like we have like, uh, you know, like the, the living room big. And then around the room in the corners, like there is, uh, uh, you know, uh, like maybe you have a cushion or something like now. But in old days, you sit in the ground. So Muhammad is promising them you will have a couches. Like, what? CB will have a couch? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, I will have a couch. It's the dream of my life. And you know, just to show you how Muhammad, how he make things up. Muhammad here, if you, if you, if you look with me in Arabic, for those who speak Arabic, he end 
Do you notice? Do you notice here, like uh, his uh, his uh, his Quran end with the letter N? I don't know. You don't understand Arabic, but you can see the look. Do you see how the look it is? Do you see the look of the letter? Do you see this letter here? Do you see this letter here? You know what I mean? He's not. This is not God talking. This is a guy just trying to make Arabic music. He have to uh, end with the letter N. And because of that, the meaning is useless. As an example, Muhammad, he promised us in heaven we will have two fountains of spring. Why? Because it have to end with tan. It have to end with the letter N. So he promised us two fountains. What we would do with two fountains? And from every apple, from every fruit, two fruit. And you are two liars. You see here in Arabic, in English, they translate uh, 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 why in the favor of your Lord you deny. The fact doesn't say that. Why in the favor of your Lord to cut the ban for both, for two. So Allah will give you two following fountains. Allah will give you from every fruit to fruit. <laughs> Allah will give you to heaven because he have to end with tan and the second you make it tan is going to be two. You know what I mean? The second you, you because he is now, he is fixed, he's stuck. He have to add those two letters to make it fit with the Quran, fit with the, 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 the rab. So by adding those two letters, you make it two. Have you ever heard of somebody promising to heaven? How I'm going to have two heaven? Every one of us will have two heavens. What does that mean? Two heaven. From every fruit you will have two. Fountains you will have two. Read with me. He's stuck. It's just because he have to add the letter tan in Arabic. So now they have to come in two. So everything became in two. Everything became two. And here all, all those than, 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 they is useless. And he just said to us, we, we will give you two, two fountain. He repeat that again. Well, you just said that a second ago. You forgot? Why you are repeating the same? It's a, it's, a, it's a fake man trying to fabricate, claiming that this is God. Garden, brother, a garden, there is a fruit and date and Roman. Roman, nice to meet you, Roman. And then he says, in those, in this heaven, brother, you will have women who nobody get it through their vagina. Mean how decent the Quran is. I'm so glad, brother. I was worried that somebody he did uh, enter there before me. Garbage. But the naive ones, those who do not know Arabic, they don't notice how it's, I mean, even if you speak English, don't you see this is stupid? And why you are keep repeating, you, why in the Lord you deny? Why in the Lord you deny? Why in your, what is that? I mean, that's it. Why you, what, what, God, he keeps saying the same sentence? How many times? How many times? Should I continue until tomorrow, keep saying, why in the Lord you deny? Which is a false translation, by the way. It says, to cut the ban, both of you. You see here. You see here in the translation here. He used the word both, which is accurate. In other translation, they did not put the word both. And both what he put it between two bracket, Jinn and man. 
Allah is speaking in the Quran to the genie too. The Quran is the book of the genie. <laughs> oh boy. Brother, we will have a beautiful female brother. They are jailed, brother. Restrained, brother. Yes, brother, there's a special female brother. They are jailed, they cannot get out, brother. And they never seek a man, brother. Only you. And the funny Muhammad, he told them, each time you sleep with those females, if you have my book, Six and Allah, each time you sleep with her, I'm trying to be nice, not to use the F word, the women, after you sleep with her, she said to you, you are the best which means you are the best in effing. Hold on. If they are virgins, how they knew he's the best in effing? Brother, they are just lying. <laughs> they are faking it. <laughs> Each time she sleep with me, she will say to you, you are the best, but she never slept with anyone. Like uh, uh, the Muslim, they say Aisha, she was a virgin when she married Muhammad, right? And then Aisha, she said, who is like, who is like the prophet Testicles, who have a, a testicles like the Prophet? How you know? How Aisha, the virgin, she knew that Muhammad have the best testicles and the best penis. In the hadith. Look the translation here, look what they say. Uh, Allah Messenger, maybe Sabi upon him, used to kiss me while observing fast. I mean, this, this guy, he is really in control. You see, he's fasting now. He is just having uh, fun. He is fasting. In different hadiths, he says, the Prophet, he used to suck my tongue. And here, after she explained, the Prophet is kissing her. And then she said, and who? Who among you? have control over his penis and testicles like the Prophet. But the women, she never have any man before, supposedly. How she knew? And what kind of a man is so good in control to the point he is fasting, yet he wanna... I mean, when Muhammad he is kissing his wife and sucking her tongue, that's it, he's in control, nothing will happen down there? Let's see if we can find the hadith about Muhammad sucking the tongue of Aisha. Here we go. Not only he kissed her, he sucked her tongue. A brother is sucking the tongue of somebody else will break your fasting? The Prophet is sucking the tongue of his wife during the fasting time? And the wife, she is reporting that to the news agencies. Now everybody in the world would know that Muhammad sucked tongues. Muhammad don't kiss. <laughs> husband, husband, you swallowed my tongue. Aisha, this is the way we Arab, we kiss. Do you see it? They will say to you, Christian Prince, you are lying. You are lying, brother. You are a liar. And even Muhammad, he sucked the, he, you know, he, he licked the blood of Usama. Look at this hadith here. Usama, he fell down. Muhammad, he start licking his face. And he said, I wish if Usama was a female, I will dress him until he get married. Why a man, he wish a, a man to be a girl? Even if he's a young boy, why he wish him to be a girl? Unless he is uh, seeing something wrong, you know, I mean, this guy is obviously, he's sick. Why Muhammad wishing Usama to be a boy, to be a girl? I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet saying, I wish Usama were a girl? Why he wish him to be a girl? Imagine you are visiting Muhammad and your son fell in the floor and he hurt himself. And then the prophet, he start licking the blood of his face. <laughs> licking it. You see here, they don't say, look what they say. Uh, uh, cut his face, the mission of Allah, remove the harm of the blood from him. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says he suck it. 
and then it says here actually actually uh, we have to to uh, 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 I thought I thought they took it off read with me carefully so he started to suck the blood from his face he's licking it but this is a boy and why you are sucking the blood from his face and then right away after sucking the blood from his face you wish he's a girl Imagine you are a mother and watching a man doing that to your son and he wishing him to be a girl. Any Abdul? Is it Sahih? My friend, all of them, they are not Sahih. <laughs> Anything is embarrassing to Muhammad is not Sahih. Trust me. Anything is embarrassing, they will say it is not Sahih. But even Da'i, by the way, is accepted. Oh boy. Sahih. Sahih and Da'i. What a religion. Any, any, anything I show you in the screen, all what you need to do, stop the video, Type a few words from what you see in the screen in Google, peace upon him, and then you will find the reference. Just type it exactly. All right? Like, I, I mentioned to you that Allah have a shape, right? Like this one. How you can find this hadith? Just type it. Consider yourself copy-paste. So, type this. Allah will come, to, will come to them. Type it exactly. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew, and he will say, stop the video, type it in Google, you will find it. Any video you see previously of mine, this is the easiest way to grab the reference. You have the, the, the biggest help, it's called Google. You know, when I was in, like, a, a, you know, you guys are lucky, I don't know how old are you, but for me, when I was really a, a kid, I wish I have an internet. I used to walk, you know, an hour, an hour and a half just to go to the library. And then when I go to the library, they don't let me get in because I'm so young. So what I do, I wait for an adult until he want to go through and I walk next to him and act as if I am his son. So the guard who is in front of the library, he will let me go. And then the guy, he look at me like, why this kid is working next to me? So I walk with him and then he sit in the table, I sit next to him. And he look like, what this kid is doing? Why he's here? So I go and sit in the table. I cannot go and grab a book because I'm not allowed. I'm a kid. But there's books in the table. People, they leave them there. So I grab any book in the table and start reading. Do you believe how much I suffer to read? Every day in the summer, I go to the library in such a way. There is a library for kids. You can go, but there is cartoon and Mickey Mouse, stupid things. I don't want to go there. I was reading adult books. Which means it's not meant for children. Since a very early age. And I love it. But now, I mean, you have the internet, you type two words, you get whatever you want. For us, for me, that was a dream. But yet people don't, they complain today, you know? Uh, you know, everything, by the way, everything people they do today, they think they have, like, a hard job. I mean, women, they do laundry. You, you don't know what laundry is. Go and see the laundry. Laundry is the one they do it by hands. They, by hands, everything, and then they have to dry it by hands. This is the laundry, not the laundry you do. You put it in the machine, you hit the bomb, you come after one hour, you put it in the dryer, and then you claim that you made the laundry. This is not laundry. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, people today, they complain. I mean, you are lucky. Go and see in the old days how people live. To eat a bread, to eat a bread, the one you grab in two seconds and you eat it. That means a woman, she have to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning, 
Start preparing the bread so when people, they wake up, they eat bread. It is not something happening in two minutes. Two hours, three hours. You are lucky. You don't cook these days. You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't do anything. You bring a vacuum machine, you walk around your carpet and you think you are doing cleaning. And you get tired, you say, I'm tired, I cleaned today. I cooked today. You are right. You cooked what? It takes them an hour to prepare the fire. They used to make the, the from the from the poop of animals the fuel. And then now, actually, let me show you. And then now, there's millions of villages around the world. They don't have a fuel except the dirt of the animals, which means a woman, she have to make, she, literally, she have to use poop. And before you use it, you have to dry it, make it like, uh, you know, like uh, in certain shape, mix it with the dry grass, I mean, uh, let us see if I can show you some. Because, you know, all, all the, like, a new generation, they have no idea. And they complain, like, that the people, they think uh, that they are really working hard and their well, life is miserable. Look at this. This is exactly how people used to live, and until now they do in many places. Take a look. This is nothing but poop. And actually, even the Bible mentioned that. That a human being will live in a dunk to the point he will use the dirt. Look at this woman. What she is doing? This is their fuel. She is making a fuel. She make it in a that shape and then she put it in the side to dry. So when time comes, they need a fuel to cook uh, to cook or to make a bread or etc. This is their fuel. Do you see it? This is now. This is not a century ago. There's millions of people, they, they live like this until now. Right? And yet women, they complain. Look at this here. They put it in the wall to save a place. They attach it when it's wet, they hit it in the wall. So when they need it, they take it off. And by the way, this fuel is very powerful. If you look at the fuel, this fuel is really, really powerful. And uh, uh, those who use it, uh, especially with making a bread, it's really f beyond fantastic. Because anyway, you are not really, it's a, it's a fire. It's going to be a very powerful fire. Very smart, actually. Some of you are saying, yuck. If you eat the bread that's made with this uh, fuel, you will not believe it. The fuel is a fuel. Look. This is the bread you will get from there. Extremely tasty. You are not eating the poop. The poop is just a fire. You know? So there's millions and millions of people around the world. They are, you know, they, they, they cook. They make their bread. They make, uh, you know, all of it using that fuel. And this is actually, here we go, let me show you here. Here, they put the fuel down. You see, this is called tanur. 
Even the Quran mentioned that word, which is not really an Arabic word. The Quran says, Wahina Yafidu Tanur. So the Tanur is a round circle, and then they put the fuel, which is an animal fuel, in the in the middle. You see it down? Down. And then when when they turn it into fire, the, the wall will become so hot. Extremely hot. Then what you do. You make the dough ready, and then you we you, you like you smash it in the wall, and it's going to stuck there. Well, it's stuck there until it is ready to be taken off because it is ready to eat. All right. And this bread is the best. If I can eat from this bread every day, uh, that will be my favorite food. That's making me hungry. I did not eat since yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, actually very tasty, extremely tasty. Extremely tasty. But you know, the, today uh, the, the, the bread we have is different. Look, this one is more clear here. Let us see here this one. This is like a smaller. Look at the fuel here. Do you see how the fuel? You see how it is? So they, they light up the fire inside. Everything is made from mud. All this is made uh, made from mud. So they light they light the fire. This is the fuel, which is from the animal. They put it here, and the fire is extremely powerful from the from this uh, dunk. And then uh, the woman she prepared the the. And by the way, this is Muslims, Christians, everybody do that. I mean, this is not about religion. And then. Uh, uh, see uh, when when the, the tanur is really hot, she put her hand with the with the da and she smash it with the wall. It's going to stuck there, and the heat will make the the bread ready very fast. And then when the when the when the bread is ready, it's going to fail down. You see, you can tell like this bread is coming out down because it's going to collapse soon because it's ready now. There's no, it's a dry. It's ready to eat. So the woman she grab it right away. Look at this one. Yeah. No, don't feel sorry for those who eat poop food. They are more healthy than you. Feel sorry for you. Their food is more healthy than your food. You think you are eating better than them? You wish. <laughs> Everything is organic. <laughs> one hundred, one million percent. It is you. Feel sorry for yourself. The, the chicken you eat is not a real chicken. They push inside it protein and medicine to make it get fat so fast. The meat you eat is not healthy. The chicken you eat is not healthy. The vegetables you eat is not healthy. Those are eating healthy food. And they live longer than you. Do you see how the bread is, is, is done? But if you think you have a better food, well, good for you. But I believe their food is better than ours. And it's extremely tasty. Like here, they are using uh, normal gas. This is like a moderate uh, tenure. This is not the real one. Anyway. Uh, it will look like we are out of Abdul today, so we are not going to stay longer because I'm really, really angry, especially I've started seeing the bread in front of me. And actually, I noticed after I start showing the bread and etc., uh, uh, we lost numbers. I think many people get hungry and they want to eat. The real Arab, the real Arab, their food is very simple because they don't have anything. It's a desert. If you live in the desert, what do you have? Palm date, ajwa. They kill a lizard and they eat him. You know? They don't really, uh, I mean, uh, when an Arab, he eat uh, like, a, let us say, a goat. That's because the goat obviously is going to die, broke her leg, or, you know, he cannot survive. Otherwise, they don't slaughter, unless you are rich. Rich people, they can slaughter a goat every day. 
But normal people who they are reading the Arab, the Bedouin who live in the desert. Uh, uh, by the way, the word Arab is not an ethnic. The word Arab means people of the desert. So there's nothing. What you would eat in the desert? There's a tomato, potato, not nothing. Nothing. Meat, milk, cheese from the from the goat or the goat, and the only uh, the, if you have a trees, it's going to be palm date trees. That's it. There's no apple. There's no there's no green. You know, there's no vegetables. There's nothing. Very simple food. This is why Muhammad he promised them uh, a grape, olive, fig, you know, a river of honey, a river of milk, because they are Arab who their life is tough. Uh, my friend RT, so what we do here every, every day? You are taking me, give me simple evidence. Everything we give here to get them busted. This is what I do here for years. Watch my videos, all of them, they get them busted. All right? This is what my videos are about. So if you're asking me to get them busted, so what are we doing here? Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. I'm really, I need to eat. I did not eat since yesterday. So I think it's time for me to go. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope that the Muslims one day they will find out what is the name of their God and what's meant. And they will think and they will start questioning the promises of Muhammad in the Quran, which is very funny, very naive, very stupid, very, very uh, I mean, very, it's not. It's cannot even be deceiving. I mean, how I can be deceived with this? A guy, he's trying to make a poetry, and he's stuck with number two. Both, two, both, two gardens, two fountains, two fruits, two, two, two. I mean, and he repeat even the same thing. I mean, you just said two fruits. What? From every fruits, two pears. What is that? You have two eyes, you have two spring. Why are you both of you deny? Two, two, two. You will have two heaven, two heaven. <laughs> so isn't it obvious? This is God. This is a silly child trying to make a rubber music. This is a silly, silly idiot. And his rubber music is the most silly stupid. Does not make sense. It is very damaging for the Arabic. And the funny, they say to you, the Quran, Arabic, brother, nobody can make like that. The fact the Arab, they said to Muhammad many times, we can make better than this. But it's stupid. All those verses saying, this is stupid. This is the fabulous of the old generation. We heard those before, nothing new. You see it? They were making fun of the Quran. All the verses. And not only that, actually, in the time of Muhammad, the Muslims, they say, they lie to you. They say, nobody says to Muhammad, we can make like this. Read it, chapter 8, verse number 31. This is Quran. It says, they say to him, if you want, we can make something like this. And even better. Do you see it? Brother, the Arab, Muhammad, he challenged them, brother, and they give up. They cannot make it. The Quran says, they said, we can make even better. But this is stupid. You see here, they translate Asatir al Awareen saying, This is nothing but the tale of the ancient. Asatir, it means the fairy tale. It's stupid. This is a stupid story. So they are making fun of your Quran. And they say, If we want to come with something like this, this is, but this is silly. This is stupid. Imagine I say to you, Make something silly like my silliness. They just say to him, This is silly. And we can make even better. But this is silly. This is stupid. 
the Arab they were not amused or let's say amazed by the Quran as you see this is a chapter 8 verse number 31 they insult Allah they made fun of the of the verses and they say this is the fairy tale of the ancient and Muhammad could not answer them and yes it is Zul Qurnayn, he found the sun set in murky water the seven sleepers is a story written by a Christian writer from Syria the story of of, of the ant and the and, and, and Suleiman this is from the Legion of the Jews the story of Al Hudud this is from the Legion of the Jews so they are right this is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancient they did not lie and we can prove it very easy All right anyway guys thank you very much for being here it's time for me to go I'm really really angry and it is your fault after we start talking about food and bread so I'm going to go and eat and if I can go again live on air I will go but maybe not uh, don't forget to download this video it's not going to stay there for long share it with your friends post it in your own channel feel free to use it in the way you wish and may the Lord bless you all and remember we are not here to make fun of a Muslim we are here to make fun of the devil who lie to people promise them vagina and penises God don't promise that God Almighty is all his holy his holiness don't speak like that there's no way God you turn into a pimp a vagina vendor a penis collector expander that is not God that is from the devil God don't speak in such a way God the promises God heaven is not this that is nothing but a dirty Las Vegas even Las Vegas is not even close to the heaven to Muhammad of Muhammad so don't be fooled by such a filthy heaven for this is have nothing to do with the Holy God Holy God is away from faith and he is not a sex vendor and he will not tempt us by penis and vagina it's an insult to God to believe in Muhammad to believe in such a heaven to believe to have sex with women they are made to be sex toys for you it's an insult to your mother your sister your your family because women are not made as a sex toy and men are not made to be sex maniac that is an insult to God it's your choice to choose between the true God and the faith of Muhammad thank you very much Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again